everybody. This is God's gift. I have some uh, good news. Uh, Terry Taplin should be on her way home very shortly. She was going to have a PET scan today. And keep your prayers going. I'll let you know if I hear anything new. And thank you all for your prayers. It's, it's, it's such a blessing to see us all gathering together, talking to the Lord and praising Him for the things that He's doing. Um, I have some really interesting uh, things I want to bring to your attention. Uh, some things about the new moon we know is going to be on uh, June 24th. And um, I'm going to read to you a couple scriptures that I have uh, brought up. In Deuteronomy 33:14, And for the precious fruit, which means excellence, and for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things thrust forth by the moon. In other words, when we go up, this is when things are going to happen. In 1 Samuel 25, then Jonathan, which means Jehovah has given, said to David. So Jonathan represents the Lord and David represents the bride because David's name means beloved. And it says, uh, I'm going to read it with everything in uh in con or out of context, just showing you what these things mean. And Jesus said to the bride, Tomorrow is the new moon, and thou shalt be missed, because thy seat will be empty. In 1 Samuel 20, 24, so David the bride, so the beloved, uh, hid himself in a field. And when the new moon was come, the king sat him down to eat meat. This is, this is speaking of uh, the new moon represents the new month. And, you know, we're waiting for summer. This will be the beginning of the summer um, next month, Tamaz. And uh, it's, it's, we're on a verge here, sisters and brothers. So many of these things are so important. Psalms 81.3. Blow the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed in our solemn feast day. The solemn feast day represents a gathering. Ezekiel 46, 1. Thus says the Lord God, the gate of the inner court that looketh towards the east. This is uh, the bride looking to the east, east. Shall be shut in six working days, but on the Sabbath it shall be opened, and the new moon it shall be opened. So we're on the new moon, we're on the Sabbath. And we're right before summer begins. Ezekiel 46, 3. Likewise, the people of the land shall worship at the door of the gate before the Lord in the Sabbath and in the new moon. We see the new moon means so many things. If you're following Jonathan Kleck, um, he's also putting up that he's about ready to finish the shipping container. Um, I pray that you're watching Steve Fletcher and... Uh, Watchmen for that great day and uh, Gigi. There's so many people putting out that we're seeing a lot of things pointing to this weekend. And I pray that you guys are blessed by everybody that the Lord is showing. He is pouring out his spirit upon all of his people. Uh, give me one second. I found a couple things that are relating to um, July, which is the month of Tamaz. Uh, not only is it the start of summer, but in Jeremiah 39, verse 2, it says, In the eleventh year, the fourth month, the ninth day, the city walls were breached. In Jeremiah 52, uh, verse 6 and 7, says, The fourth month, the ninth day, the famine was severe, and the city was broken into. Men of war fled and went from the city at night by the way of the gate. Between two walls, the king's garden, the Chaldeans all around the city, um, and they went by the way of Araba. In Genesis 37, it talks about Joseph and his dreams, and I noticed a few things in there. Um, it's talking about, in verse 2, these are the generations of Jacob. Joseph being the 17 years old, could this mean like 2017? I'm just, I'm just throwing things out there. Um, it also talks about um, Bala. It says, uh, and the lad was with the sons of Bala and with the sons of Zilpha, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto the father 
their evil reports. Now we look, uh, Bala was of the tribes of Dan and Naphtali, and Joseph is representing of Manasseh and Ephraim. And I'm also looking into the dreams. It was very important here. For behold, this is Joseph's first dream. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field. And lo, my sheaves arose and stood upright. And behold, your sheaves stood round about and made um, bow down to the sh my sheaves. So this is, this is um, where they will bow down to our feet here. And the brethren said to him, shalt thou, shalt thou indeed reign over us? Or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him, yet more of his dreams for his words. They hated him because he was given the truth. He was telling them, that, uh, he represents Jesus. And Jesus was telling, you know, the truth at his time that they, they hated him for what he was saying. In verse 9 of Genesis 37, it says, And he dreamed yet another dream, and told his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and eleven stars made, uh, were made bow down to me. And the sun uh, and the moon and the eleven stars, the eleven stars is because he was the twelfth star. He represented the twelve. this represented the twelve tribes. Um... This whole chapter on Joseph and his dream, this is all speaking of how what Jesus went through, what he's doing for us. Look into it, sisters and brothers. It's really, really important. I just went over this with John from Watchmen at that, uh, for that great day, and we were finding out all kinds of stuff, how this is relating to the time that we're in. And I pray that you're blessed. This is God's gift, and thank you again for all the prayers for Terry. Love you all.